As regarding the Euro Cross, it, uh, uh, the situation here is more or less uh, the same for the Euro Yen, Euro Swiss, and Rube, uh, Euro Ruble. But um, here in the Euro Sterling, we enter it a long position at 87.20, and you know why? Because um, the pair starting from starting from uh, September of last year fluctuated in the range of 0.87 per 0.90 roughly be between these kind of levels and probably today is the time of this uh, range break to the downside of course a lot of will depend on today's uh, economic event in the form of UK retail sales scheduled for 9.30 as well as MPC official bank decision it will be very interesting how the uh, committee members vote in favor of uh, in interest rate hike and uh, also asset uh, purchasing facility continuation but anyway we suggest it's not a time to raise the rates right now today probably uh, in May in during next uh, meeting the embassy finally will uh, will vote in favor of the first interest rate increase uh, conducting by the Bank of England this is a fundamental picture of course but technically we're still inside of the range but uh, of course the break below uh, the downside uh, the lower side of this range should attract more sellers in, into the currency and in this case next um, goal will be probably the 0.83 level the lows of uh, 2017 as regards uh, other currencies the euro yen is more or less uh, neutral at the moment but from a longer term period of line uh, the pay should be looked uh, rather bearish anyway to go much lower the pay should finally break below its moving average uh, 200 weekly line which we still have to do and uh, euro swiss uh, we are ready to buy but uh, probably in the case of retest of the longer term uptrend around 11540 and euro ruble you know the ruble is very well supported at the moment because because of the brand rise you know how high is uh, uh, crude oil prices at the moment because of uh, yesterday's uh, crude oil inventories data coming from the United States it was very negative and that means that the future demand uh, demand for crude oil will be higher than expected and that means that the prices of crude oil should also